Hey everyone, it's Natalie. I'm going to show you how I transformed this to this in my tiny New York bathroom. Hey guys, welcome to my bathroom. This is our bathroom here in our New York City apartment. So we have just recently downsized. We used to have three bathrooms, big ones in our house, and now we have one tiny bathroom. There are a few challenges in this bathroom that I wanna talk about before we start organizing. So it's actually a really good sized bathroom. I'm gonna end um, by showing you a tour of everything. We've got storage in here and also behind that door right there. And then we have all this space, but the challenge is that it's not really like, it's not super usable because it's just a big wide open space. So that is my challenge today to organize it by dividing things up. I've got some baskets that I'm gonna show you here in a second. And I think it's really gonna solve this problem and use the most of this in this space here. Hey puppy. Toaster is gonna help us out here today. He's actually terrified right now because I've just put all the stuff on the bed. This is all the stuff that you saw earlier. It was kind of organized at one point, but now it's just a mess and I need to go through it, sort it by like items and kind of decide what do we want to keep in the bathroom? What do we want to keep at all? And if we don't want to keep it in the bathroom, where do we want to put it? So let me show you that these baskets that I just got. These baskets are from Target. I think they're only available online. That's where I purchased mine from. They're the, uh, Threshold brand and I'll make sure to link them and the sizes that I'm using down below So I have two that are gonna go in that space that you saw from the floor to the cabinet And I'm actually not going to use these for bathroom storage necessarily They're pretty big. So one of them is going to be our laundry hamper Our laundry <laughs> our washing machine is not very big So this will kind of be nice actually to have as our laundry hamper and then we don't have to worry about putting it in the bedroom or taking up space in a closet. It can just be in the bathroom out of the way. The other one's gonna be sort of another hamper, except I have some smaller um, things to go in here and it's gonna take uh, or hold on to our dirty cloths that I use to clean the bathroom. I'll show you that here later. And then these two, they're the same style, the same brand and everything, just a, a different size. These ones should fit perfectly into the actual like square cabinet space. And these will hold a lot of our bathroom essentials. I might even use some smaller acrylic containers in there to keep everything organized. The first step though, is to go through all of this stuff and get it sorted. So let's go ahead and do that. So it may not look like it, but this is actually sorted out. So what I have is like uh, beauty stuff for me. I have then, this is all kids stuff behind me that I'm not sure what to do with. That pile in the back is like extra items. Um, this is all travel, care, and then this is stuff I already have a place for. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that and put that away right now. Here's my plan for one of these bins. So one of them is just gonna be open and have our dirty laundry. It's basically going to be a hamper. It'll probably be this one because I think this one's a little easier to get to right there. Um, but what I'm going to do for the other one, I got these really small trash cans at Target. They are, how many? I feel like they're usually by like liters or something like very unhelpful. Anyway, they're like the really tiny ones and they're also going to kind of be laundry. So I knew they would fit in here just perfectly. Isn't that awesome? I love that. So one of them is going to be where I toss our yellow cloths. The yellow cloths are what I use to clean the bathroom. I do this probably four times a week because the bathroom gets really, really dirty and I use several cloths every time. And I feel like it's wasteful to run the washing machine for just a handful of cloths. So I usually do it once a week, wash it really, really hot. So they will stay right here. Um, in the bathroom where it's already dirty. And then the other one is where I'm gonna put our regular towels. I usually go through a few washcloths a week, so I'll just hold them in here. These are nice and waterproof. I can clean them, sanitize them, and it will all just tuck in right under there. And all of that is going to be dirty laundry. All right, then these fit in perfectly. I mean, they 
just barely fit. I really measured before I ordered them and made sure that they would work. So since I've got two of them, you know, I'm married, I try to be fair, so I'm thinking one will be for all my stuff, one will be for Kent's stuff, and then I'll probably put all of our extras, extra toothbrushes, extra contacts, all of that. That doesn't have to be in the bathroom because I'm not getting to that every day. So I think I'll probably be, probably put that in another container I have and put it in one of the closets that we have in the hallway, label a bathroom extras, super easy to get to. So the last step here that I need to do, I think I'm gonna take a basket at a time, go work on the bed because it's a lot bigger in there and get these filled up. Here's a little view, <laughs> my view as I work today. It is getting very dark outside. So gloomy today. It is about, it's after six. Look at this, all this traffic down here. <laughs> Does anyone else do this? I'm always so lazy about taking off like labels or stickers or anything. So since I know they fit, I am taking them off now. I just got this as a gift, um, I guess for, I don't remember, maybe it was for Christmas, but I feel like I just received it or I received it right before moving, which makes sense because that was Christmas. Anyway, always, always take everything out of the package. You're way more likely to use it. You know when you go take a bath or something, you are not gonna pull something out of the package. Plus it will take up way less space. Both of our baskets are now finished and they are ready to go in here. Oh, mine's a little bit heavy. Um, probably need to pick that up from the bottom. Keep in mind that this is not the only stuff that we use in the bathroom. This is the stuff we actually use less. All of our daily stuff is in the medicine cabinets, which I just love. It makes it so easy to get to everything. And I'll show you those when I give the final tour. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back into the cabinets now. I made myself also a little hair basket that just fits in the very, very back. And then I'm hoping our like extra soap will also slide in behind the other basket so that it's like just in here and really easy to get to. So let's see how it all fits. So there must have been a drawer in here at one point because there's actually some brackets. So I'm just gonna move this over so it's not hitting the bracket in the back. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, welcome, welcome to the bathroom. We're gonna do a full and proper bathroom tour. I can show you all of the things that we did throughout this video and how they've been working out for us because it's been a few weeks and I've got to put it all to the test. I just have to say, I actually really like having a smaller space, honestly, because it's made us be a lot more selective about what we keep um, and what we have out. I mean, we've always been like those empty countertop people, which 
I highly suggest keeping your countertops only for a working space and not a storage space. It makes a huge difference. But I am so surprised at how much I actually like having medicine cabinets. I'm going to show you those. Um, it keeps everything like right in reach so easy. So anyway, let me take you in on a tour um, around our bathroom here, starting with the medicine cabinet that is over the top of the sink. So you just open this right up. It's super bright. We've got these bright lights right here. And inside this medicine cabinet, we have our toothbrushes. We've got his and hers on each side. Um, I've got a couple shelves in here. Spoiler, I have more stuff than my husband. <laughs> um, but I have like my, you know, all my tooth care stuff, my makeup, my um, like, you know, scissors and tweezers and stuff like that. I also keep my contacts in two separate um, containers. So I have like left contacts on the left side, right contacts on the right side, and I have them torn. So they're just easy to grab every day since I wear daily contacts. And then I ha we have like our nail care and I have um, my mouth guard there at the top. It has to soak in everything. So we're um, using our glass glasses that we have in the kitchen right now because we haven't been able to find anything small enough to fit on these shelves. They are very narrow, like two and a half inches, um, maybe three. So I'm kind of on the lookout for a different kind of container so we can have plastic in there instead of our glassware in there. This under the sink situation was so tricky for me because we don't have any cabinets. We don't have any drawers. Everything is just open. It's like one big open box. There's actually some tracking in here which suggests that there used to be some kind of like pull out thing, um, but I'm kind of glad it's just an open space. What I was able to do was create our own drawers, if you will, with these baskets from Target. We've again got his and hers. So they're like really long baskets and I was able to get matching ones for underneath um, because that was like another big space I knew we could use. So I've got all my hair care stuff here on this side and we've got like some other things stored way in the back like extra hand soap, stuff like that. And then this is all my husband Kent's stuff. He's got like his shaving things in there, like sunscreen, medicines and stuff like that. And it looks really nice and it's easy to like pull out, grab what you need, put it back. Um, so again, kind of making our own drawers, if you will. Now, moving down underneath here, what I did was I wanted a place for us to keep our laundry that wasn't gonna take up space in the closet, wasn't gonna be out in our bedroom because I just didn't want like a huge hamper, like having that big of a footprint in our bedroom. So again, matching these Target uh, baskets, I got a larger one and this is where we put all of our laundry, our clothes laundry. I know it's really small compared to other laundry hampers, but it actually is perfect because we have a tiny washer and dryer. So when this gets full, I know it's already a load, maybe two. Um, so whenever this fills up, I just throw a load into the washing machine and it's been working out really, really great. And we don't have to take up again, a lot of space in the bedroom or in a closet with a full size hamper. And then right next to it is actually another laundry basket. This is where I keep a variety of things. So. I actually have in here uh, two smaller bins, plastic bins, because what I'm putting in here tends to be um, usually wet or damp. So one, the first basket is for all of our uh, washcloths and things that we use and like, uh, we don't use them for like ever. Like, okay, so, so I only like to wash towels once a week, but I usually go through four hand towels a week, several washcloths, etc. So where do you put those things? You know, they don't go in with the clothes. So they have their own space right here in one bin. And then the bin in the back is where I put all of my bathroom cleaning cloths. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I clean the bathroom every single day. I use these yellow cleaning cloths and I don't want them with my bath cloths. That's gross. So I put them separately. And when that gets full, I wash those as well. So everything gets to be right here underneath um, and they look nice and they're easy to like pull out so I can clean underneath that area and that just makes things like truly a breeze I love how that's been working swing around the bathroom here this is like opposite the sink we've got a full-size medicine cabinet with a mirror which is nice because I have a full-size mirror I can you know sit in there and look at my full outfit and everything but we also have all the storage in here so let me open it up let's start at the top here so at the very top Kent's got some of his items there he's got a lot of different colognes um coming in on the second shelf this is my shelf and I have to say I love how this functions so much you know, when you have like a regular cabinet, you 
can keep yourself like underneath. That's what we always did is kept our stuff underneath, but you are always having to like bend down and grab stuff out. Or if you have like, you know, cabinets like this, you might have all your products there, but they're in layers. This puts everything in one layer. Like I want to put this in a house if I ever built it, build one, because it's so easy. I've got everything lined up in one layer. I can just grab what I need, put it right back in the empty spot. It seriously makes things so easy. I love it. Now moving down to the next shelf, I have more like of my day-to-day -day hair care stuff. The things I don't use every day are the ones that are under the sink because it's not as convenient to get to, but this is my everyday stuff. These stackers are awesome. I actually got them at the container store for my, um, my office when I was at the school, I had like these different acrylic things, um, kind of organizing office supplies. And I brought them along. I brought a lot of organizational stuff from our old place and thought, you know what? Maybe these would work in the bathroom. They're perfect, they're narrow. And what's even better is they're stackable. So I can take this top one, which has my brush, my clip that I use every day. And underneath it, I have all of my stuff that I don't use every day, like bobby pins and uh, like hair bands and stuff like that. And I can just, they're stackable. So I can just stack it. I can have as many layers of these as I need it. So if you have medicine cabinets, this is perfect. I'll link the set of this below. They come in several different sizes. They're really great for maximizing like the space between shelves on a narrow shelf like a medicine cabinet. This medicine cabinet is huge. It's got two more shelves. I have another shelf of things I get to every day, like my perfume. Again, these wonderful stackable things. They're super, super great. I've got like a smaller one stacked on top of a larger one. It still works out great. And then the bottom shelf is again for Ken. So if you're keeping track, uh, I have like one more shelf than him pretty much everywhere, which is really nice of him to, uh, you know, give me the space that I need because I definitely have more products than him, but it all works out. We have everything shared and I just love having the medicine cabinet. It's super awesome. This is kind of trippy because you're getting like several mirrored <laughs> versions of me. But one thing that we didn't have in here that we desperately needed was a place to hang a hand towel. Our apartment came with places to hang like bath towels, which is awesome. We've actually got two spots for those and they're really nice hooks and I love them, but it didn't have a place to hang a hand towel and we didn't want to just have it, you know, sitting on the sink. So I ended up getting this really cool thing. I'll zoom in on it here. Um, this is a 3M hook, like one of those command hooks that you can, you know, sticky put on the wall. Great for renters. I mean, great if you just don't want to put a nail into your wall or anything. This one's actually made for the bathroom. It's made to stick on tile, withstand moisture, all of that. Um, and it's also like chrome plated. So it matches everything else in here. Looks like a real hook, like feels like metal. Well, okay. When you really look at it, it's, it's kind of obvious that it's not. But then I was able to hang up our hand towel in a convenient place that is like out of the way, not near the toilet, not hanging off the side anywhere. And it's really made like for me, it made a huge difference. So I'm really happy to have that. Now I wanted to show you also inside our shower, we've got our cute little shower curtain here that we had in our guest bathroom in our Texas home. But I've done something that I think is so great for like renters, college students, um, honestly, like if you have a bathroom for your kids and you want to like store stuff in a really easy way where you don't have to have one of those racks, this is perfect. So let's look inside the shower here. I have got, I've gotten this shower curtain that has mesh pockets in it. So you can put all the stuff that you need, like your shampoo and your razor and your shaving gel and all of that stuff in a pocket. And then you don't have to have, again, you don't have to install a shelf. You don't have to hang anything from the shower head. It is so useful. I knew about these because my mom actually got me one my freshman year of college when I was sharing a bathroom with four other girls and we use it all the time. You can take it off and wash it, which I'm planning to do every maybe six months or so. Cause yeah, I'm a little bit lazy, um, but it's really, really great. And it has been so useful. And now we don't have to have stuff like sitting around the edge of the tub or anything like that. So perfect for small spaces and perfect for temporary spaces like a college dorm as well. Thanks so much for coming along with me as I organize our tiny bathroom here in New York City. Let me know if you learned anything or if there's anything you're gonna put into place. I'll have all of the products that I can linked down below for easy shopping. And if you haven't checked it out already, I did a video on organizing our funky kitchen because just like the bathroom, it had some of those weird open spaces that we had to figure out. I'll make sure that that's on the end screen here for you in case you haven't seen it yet. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.